Hi everyone, welcome to my channel today. Today I am doing another swipe, like my previous pour. I am going with a peacock colour palette requested by a friend. I will link her channel in my description. Her channel's name is Art with Rossi. So I have chose. I went online and looked up peacock colour palette and these are the colours I chose. So you're looking at deep sea. It looks black, but it's actually deep sea. It's a very dark green, some aqua green and cerulean blue. This pink is called Pinky. It's by Araldo. And this one is a, let me think, um, cerulean blue, I think, as well, with a little bit of silver to lighten it and to give it a bit of a shine. And there you have some Montmartre light purple. Now I'm just adding some, another layer of, of the colors. So there's a little bit more deep sea. I like to do that so that the layers that I put on first don't get lost. Because a lot of the times they do. Especially in a swipe. So all my colors have only one drop of silicone in them. Because the cup was only about two thirds full and I didn't want to have huge salts. So now I'm just laying down some of my leftover deep sea and I like to do that to help the paint flow off the edges and that also helps the paint when it flows off the edges to cover the sides. I've got quite a lot of paint on my canvas so I'm tilting a fair amount of it off. A lesson that I learned the hard way as I used to leave way too much paint on my canvas. I'm just going all the way around to all the sides, all the edges, not too fast that I'm pouring a lot of paint off. And once I'm done with that, I will start swiping. Now my swipe color is, I cannot remember how I got the, how I made this color. It's like a kind of a purpley light plum, some kind of color. I don't know. I made it a while ago. It's really pretty. So I'm using that as my swipe color today. It has no silicone in it. I put a fair amount down, but more so that it can run down the back so that the back is completely covered with that color. There, I'm getting my paper towel ready to wipe my uh, plastic off my swipe tool, wipe the paint off the swipe tool. I put a little um, thin layer of white on, just thinking it might have some effect, lighten up that purple color a little bit. Um, I don't know, just wanted to, so I did. But as you see, here I go with the swiping. It kind of just went under the plastic and didn't do anything, so it was a bit of a waste of time. But that's okay. So I'm swiping down and the colors are looking gorgeous. You can see the deep sea coming out beautifully. Unfortunately, there was a bit of a lump of paint there at the top you can see it dragged down but I will get rid of it later and there I am moving over to swipe the other side of the canvas Now I missed the edge there, so I just swipe down again. And as I said in my previous video, if you have to swipe again, swipe again, it really doesn't matter. So here I'm trying to tilt some of the purple plum off from the top because it's a fairly thick layer, but 
I didn't do it for long enough, so I hardly lost anything. And I also, when I tilted it up like that, I could see where the paint globby thing is. And while I was tilting like that, I found another one. So that if anything good came out of wasting my time tilting, it was that. Now, if you saw the previous video, um, I explained there that I do not like using the butane torch when doing this kind of swipe because it affects the cells, the types of cells that you get. But for some reason, my heat gun would, didn't want to work, so I was forced to use the butane torch. And you will see the difference in cells. Now, the paints I used were exactly the same. It was exactly the same consistency, same amount of silicone everything i prepped the paints the night before i did everything exactly the same but you can see how different the cells are when using the the torch and i was a little bit disappointed because i really wanted those cute little tiny cells that i got with the heat gun but there was nothing i could do about it so i just kind of torched and accepted it and moved on with trying to get a good painting so I tried to not be very close to my canvas it looks like I'm on top of the canvas but I'm actually not I'm a fair distance away um, if I was very close then I would be getting major clusters so it looks like I'm torching right on top of the paint but I'm not I did do a bit of extra there at the top because the paint is thicker didn't really get much out of it um, but I'm going to swipe the gold over that anyway, so it doesn't matter. But also with the cells that you get from the butane torch, they grow more. They develop more over time. So if you, once I've stopped torching, if you watch some of the cells, it's not that easy to see it because you just don't notice them grow. But they do actually grow from, you know, within 30 seconds to a minute, they are quite a lot bigger which I find a little bit annoying which is why I don't like using again another reason why I don't like using the butane torch for this type of swipe so if you watch now or even skip back 20 to 30 seconds from now you will see the difference in the cells the size of the cells anyway so now I've got the gold on top and I'm going to use that to do some cute little swipey down things. I'm just tilting it so that again it can run down the back a little bit. Doing that does cause the cells to change shape a little bit, but I wasn't too worried about that. So I'm going to turn my canvas around, making it slightly easier for me to swipe nicely. Um, I find it easier to get a good swipe when I'm, you know, using my right hand and swiping to side side instead of from top down. So I'm swiping and then I'm lifting the card up at an angle at the, you know, when I'm finished swiping so that it gives a pointy finish. I'm repeating a pattern and it has quite an interesting effect. And I love how the gold has kind of like a scalloped bottom it's really pretty and I really like that and I like how the gold swipes down over the colors giving it a shimmery effect where it's been swiped it's really pretty So at this point, I planned to be done with my painting, but I did not like the cells that I got. So I'm quickly just giving the gold a bit of a torch over to get some cells. And 
then I decided to take my little balloon and just remove some of the really big cells that were distorted that I did not like. I did not intend to use a balloon on this painting, but I just, I couldn't handle those big cells. I, I was really unhappy with that. So even though I have a lot of paint on my canvas and the balloon dips will sink in again, I'm fine with that because it takes away those big distorted cells that I don't like. So it gives a pretty effect. The balloon dips might disappear or sink in, but at least it takes away what the parts I didn't like. And you still do see some pretty effects from the balloon. What I did off camera once I was finished, I sat staring at my painting for quite a while. And what I decided to do was to take a stick and run it down the painting through the cells. So that it gives it a kind of leaf effect and breaks the cells and you will see in the close-ups that it kind of gives it an underwater effect. My son said it reminds him of under the sea. So when you see the close-ups, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And although it wasn't what I wanted, it didn't turn out the way I expected. It st still turned out rather pretty. And I'm happy with it, with the end result. And I hope you are as well. I hope you like it and I'd love it if you'd let me know. Please stick around. I have some close-ups and I also have a close-up video where you can see what I'm talking about with some of the cells that I wasn't fond of and the pictures that I show you now will show you the effect that the stick had. How it made them look like little leaves or seaweed or something like that. Then you'll see the close-up video and a couple more close-up pictures after that. So thank you for watching and I would love it if you would subscribe. I'm trying to make my channel grow and I'm going to be working harder at it to put more videos out there. I haven't had much time to do so lately but now that the years return back to normal and kids are back at school and people are back at work I can get back into painting and posting videos more often. So please support my channel. I would love that. And I will see you again soon. Thanks so much. Bye.